All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Iguana exterminators here. We're back out here in Deerfield Beach. Uh, we have a um, homeowners association who's having some really bad problems with some iguanas. They are uh, pooping all in their pool area, uh, tennis courts, uh, picnic tables, and what they're doing in their marina. They're digging huge burrows over there and destroying the seawall in their marina. In any case, uh, we were out here yesterday. I'm sorry I uh, didn't have my GoPro uh, battery charged up and uh, you guys missed all the fun, but uh, I'll include a picture in this so you guys can see uh, what we did yesterday. We took 45 iguanas out of here in just a couple of hours yesterday. And today, we're hoping for the same kind of a turkey shoot. So we're gonna set you guys up out here. You're gonna come along with us. We're gonna uh, snap this uh, GoPro back on top of our pellet gun and uh, let's go get some iguanas. Let's see how many we can pile up for them today. Cause that's what I told them. I said, I'll pile them up for you. <laughs> and sure enough, in any case, let's go see what we can do for these folks. All right, folks. So here we go. We're going into the pool area first. Iguana exterminators on the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, Iguana Exterminators back here. We uh, had to uh, we had to basically wait on the pool area. We have um, one, if not two, Karens over there who were causing a real problem. And I told the HOA manager, I said, man, it's a waste of your time and a waste of my time for me to be out here. Let's go be productive and let's go over to the marina. So we're going to wait for the Karens to finish splashing around the pool. Um, interesting thing is that they don't really get is that um, if the health department came out here and this is what the HOA manager has been trying to tell them this is such a necessary thing because the iguanas are crapping all over the pool and everything else that if uh, the health department came out they could end up getting shut down the HOA is doing their part this one person actually two are trying to stop it so um, anyway we're gonna let them sit and stew for a little while and uh, we'll go back hopefully and they'll be gone and we can take some iguanas out of the pool area anyway let's roll and see what we can do at the marina
Ooh, there's some big ones over here. Ooh, let's get these kids. that little gopher head. Another one right in the water. Wow. It acts like it didn't hurt, but wow, I know it had to.
look at them. They're all just lined up right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's no less than nine. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's look at what we just got from this one little sidebar over here on this, uh, this part of the seawall. Got about a dozen of them right here. Got them all collected up. Bunches of them had jumped into the water. I guess they were trying to haul ass and get away from the, um, get away from me. So uh, anyway, we pulled them out with the, uh, with the grab claw and that's what we got right here. Alright, let's go get some more. magazines are giving some problems and I actually tightened them up. Looks like I may have tightened them down a little too much. this seawall over here too.
Oh, a little basilisk lizard. down in that and I'm not walking in there. Uh-huh. Snakes. That it little guy. Damn they saw me and they're going in the bushes. Right off of there. Off of that knock. that those things are making up in this palm tree. and play come on there's another one where did you go there we go come on you can go down There we go. Ooh, nice shot. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Iguana exterminators in action. Right in the side of the head. You see that, ladies and gents? Right in the side of the head.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, finished up on that one side of the marina. Ended up having to actually come back and reload and uh, refill the tank. Also, the, uh, the magazines were given some problems, so we had to do a little uh, work to try to hopefully we got this situation figured out. Anyway, we're now on the other side of the marina. Let's go see what we can do. All locked and loaded. Let's go. gentleman who lives here really nice fella he uh he's going to be calling us the next time he sees them back out so we can hopefully come over here and just have an absolute field day on them Perfect, got that, even that dock post as a backstop. <laughs> Straight in the water.
<laughs> I just popped it right off the side of the seawall. Hair high. Oh, another one off the side of the seawall. Another one. <laughs> Bounced another one off the sea. I have to go get that grab claw to get all these things back up. Oh, and another one. This is like a. This is like one. Of, another one. This is like one of those things when you were a kid and you go to the carnies. This is awesome. Huh. Oh, there he is. Exterminators, we're getting our iguanas. That's a long way down there. But wow, I bet this is a Guanaburro heaven. We'll be back for you. We will. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are reloaded. Got the tank pumped back up to a full 3,000 psi. All our magazines are loaded. We're ready to rock and roll. Witness our carnage. <laughs> this is insane. This place has gotten taken over so badly by iguanas.
these little juvies, juveniles. Kids ready to go for a swim in the water? <laughs> How about you? You want to go for a swim too? Uh, you're just gonna drop, huh? Folks, I really wish that I had been able to, <laughs> I could kick myself seriously for forgetting to charge up my GoPro camera battery for yesterday. We took 45 out of them here yesterday. It was just like this, except a whole lot larger. Um, in any case, not to say that those those events are done with. I think that we're maybe starting to put a dent in some of it, but some of the population, but I'm really not sure. There's your buddy. Yeah, look at him. Alright folks, we're going to go collect these things and uh, we'll show you the pile when we're finished. Folks, about wrapping the day up, uh, we've pretty much done what we're going to do. But I wanted to check this one last spot over here by the end of the, um, in, down towards the very end of the property, going down along the uh, the waterway. We had seen some bigger ones earlier, and that's when our uh, magazines were uh, jamming on our on our Benjamin Kratos. So um, anyway, we're going to go see if there might be a, just a couple out here, and uh, if they are, we're going to wipe them out and head out for the day. Ready? I know we're already in the 30s for today for our count. shoot with the boat in the back <laughs> all right folks we're gonna have to move around over here to this side I am NOT gonna shoot with that boat in the back oh look one up on his dock two up on his dock Wow all right this is where we smoke them oh yeah All the way from here. One up there on the dock. Behind the, oh, got him right there through that netting on the dock.
another magazine issue. Guys, just to show you how ineffective this is, these folks, I mean, it's a good idea, but unfortunately, iguanas can climb. And uh, they just climb straight over and through that. Didn't mean to have the camera down. Wow, look at this, where these things have dug out from underneath here. What a mess. Holy cow. So there's the guy we popped earlier. I'm going to go get that mechanical grab claw. <laughs> Alright folks, I thought the camera was on, but I ended up being able to pop one of those boys that was sitting up here on this dock. Did it real clean, real nice, but look at all of this iguana poop everywhere. Wow! And the other two, they're living inside the back of that, uh, back of that boat. That pontoon boat you see right in front of you they're living back inside of there in any case while I was doing this I actually managed to see another one up in this tree and let's see what we can do about taking this one out Oh, yeah. Stuck 
up there. There it goes. They're smart like that. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> it's all right I, I got a claw to get it Alright ladies and gentlemen, 
This is where iguana exterminators is going to pile them up for the day. Let's see what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we pretty much finished up the afternoon out here in uh, Deerfield Beach and um, figured we'd show you guys what we ended up getting all total. So today, it was almost as good as yesterday. We have 45, well, yeah, actually 45 was yesterday. 40, no, yeah, 42 today. We have 42 that we took out today. Now that is what you call an iguana infestation. Iguana exterminators. We get our 